We've come to ETG today because we've got a very exciting premiere to show you today. Some fascinating new machinery that are going to be supplied by ETG in the UK and Ireland. So Andrew, um, congratulations on the brand new agency. What's the story? What kind of machine is this? So this is a tube bending machine. It's manufactured by a company called VLB Group. And for people who are not aware of VLB in the UK, they are a Portuguese manufacturer. We build everything in house, so we don't outsource anything from all the fabrication, assembly, electrical, software, design, all done by VRB in Portugal. Absolutely, and you've got, had a lot of experience with machines like this, haven't you? Yes, so I've been in the industry for about 18 years now uh, for various manufacturers, from UK uh, manufacturers through to uh, European manufacturers. Again, that helps and aids my experience with working with a Mediterranean uh, European manufacturer as such as VLB. Yeah, absolutely. Let's dig into more about what a tube bending machine is and what it does. I mean, people would normally, smaller co companies might bend tubes by hand and you might want to automate that process. Absolutely. I mean, uh, tube bending is in everyday life, from the, the chair you're sitting on to the handrail you've grabbed when you're climbing up the stairs to the car that you may have driven if you've got a driving license. So if you think of a car components from the dashboard that's hidden behind, it's held by a structural bar, from the brake lines, from the exhaust pipe, from the fuel filler lines, everything. There's a lot of automotive. I mean, this, this industry of tube bending is predominantly automotive. Since the electric vehicle uh, range has come out now, obviously a lot of, there's no, there's no industrial, you know, internal combustion engine anymore. So the automotive tubular side of things has sort of had to go into more chassis frames and, and body kits. If you think of a, a Westfield or a Caterham, I don't say the car, car names, but manufacturers out there, kit car manufacturers, are built from a tubular skeleton frame, roll cages and, roll, and, and race frames. A lot of it is, uh, is bent on a tube bending machine. Uh, you, you, you physically can't do that bending over your knee. Absolutely, so there's, there's a wide range of applications, a surprising number of sectors that you need a, a tube bender A in. surprising number of sectors. I mean, your plumber will come and bend it with a, you know, a little plumbing device. Well, that's great for one bend going into a, domestic, into, a, into a domestic use. Where on a commercial level, when you're doing a block of flats, for example, to bend the tubes like that, it take forever. So a machine like this is used for components like that. Fantastic. And you were showing three uh, some demonstrations today. What kind of demos were you showing? What are you trying to explain to customers? So the main feature of this particular machine is a rotary head function. It's meaning you've got a left hand and a right hand function. So what I was trying to demonstrate is if you were to use this on a single headed machine, you have a lot of rotation of the bar, which means the bar is, the tube is rotating. Whereas with a machine like this, the tube, the tube is kept stationary, meaning that you can have a tube on an offload table and the machine will move around the tube. So the tube will stay put and the machine will bend. So if you've got a simple S-bend, for example, you would bend in one direction, rotate using uh, the, the carriage and then bend in the other direction. With this machine, the tube would stay still. You'd bend left hand, the machine would rotate to the right hand and then bend right hand. So you've got both functions with the, with the tube staying still. And we could talk about this machine probably all day. The, the, the actual, I love the control side of things. There's loads of CAD, loads of collision detection. It's really impressive. And now this machinery is being supplied by ETG in the UK. How are you going to be supporting um, the installation, the service, and even the, the training and how customers are going to be using this every day? Everything you've just said, in all, in all fairness. So ETG offer full turnkey. So from the initial design aspect of things, so a customer would approach us and say, look, you know, this is what I would like to bend. Could you reverse engineer it or is it something a brand new project? We would take that project on. We would decide the correct machine for the customer, not based on the budget, but based on the right machine for the job that's been put forward to us. We're not going to say something that can't do the job, and that's really important. You know, we're not we're not trying to just box things up, stick our label on it, and send it out the door. All we want to do is be full solution. We're a solution supplier. So you come with us with a problem, we would create a solution for that. We would then obviously go to VRB who supply the machine, but then we take on that 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 that's uh, that customer. So the customer will come up to us and say, yes, great, we've got this machine now. Who's supporting it? Who's installing it? Well, we are. ETG are going to offer the support. We've got engineers, 14 engineers, I believe, out in the field, eight technical service guys, uh, plus myself, who will help install that install the machine, do all the application side of the machine as well, go through all the training on the machine, and then all the backup and support. You know, unfortunately, machines do stop at some point, whether it be a mechanical fault or a software problem. They would come straight to us at ETG. We would help them out, whether it be uh, over teleservice, over the phone, or it be on-site support with an engineer. Engineer would go on, 
obviously resolve the solution and then continue to do so. ETG have got a fantastic reputation for exactly that, for offering a full turnkey solution and that's what VLB have now got with ETG. So there you have it, um, ETG moving into the fabrication sector. Some exciting news coming soon, but right now available VLB Group tube benders in stock and fully supported by ETG.